If everyone was wondering how I'm refilling this Allison transmission in the back of this diesel pusher with uh, fluid, um, there's actually a fill hole um, right here on the uh, top of the, uh, well, not on the top of the transmission, but on the side transmission, I guess. It's on the top of the oil pan. And uh, if you take off, there's a plug that goes in there and a little rubber gasket. So there's the rubber gasket and there's the plug and it just pushes down in there. That's how I'm gonna, and I'm using this uh, this pump, this hand pump in my in my uh, jug of uh, brand new Mobile One or Mobile Dubeck One ATF. And this is the um, Allison TES 295 TES 468 specification um, exactly what this transmission calls for um, I wanted to go with the um, transcend which is actually I think uh, branded uh, it's, it's a it's Allison's brand of uh, transmission fluid but I, I just I couldn't find it anywhere around here so um, mobile wants good stuff it'll work it'll work just as good as long as it's uh, got the same specification and obviously it does so anyway I removed, this is a, let's see, this is a gallon jug, so this is a, uh, so this is one gallon, um, I guess a little over five quarts, but anyway, um, or right at five quarts, I guess, close enough anyway, but I removed exactly 10 quarts of fluid from this transmission, and it's kind of important because you really can't go by the dipstick which is on these diesel pushers my dipstick always showed uh the cold fluid level it always showed over hot so i'm not <clears throat> the only the only thing i use my dipstick for because it's just so long is just to verify that i have transmit transmission fluid and but anyway you want to put in exactly the amount of fluid that you removed so i measured that <clears throat> and I removed exactly 10 quarts um, because the oil filter holds fluid, the internal filter holds fluid, the pan holds fluid, and the torque converter holds fluid. And the cooler up here somewhere. Yeah, there's the cooler lines. The cooler holds fluid. So even though you're not going to be able to replace all the fluid, um, the new fluid will mix with the old fluid just perfectly fine and uh, it'll be all good. But you just want to make sure you don't overfill it and you want to put in exactly what was in it. So I'm using this hand pump here and that's how I'm putting fluid back in it because although you could theoretically um, fill the fluid with the uh, dipstick fill or the dipstick uh, tube back there on the back, it, it will probably take even longer because it's such a, it's such a small tube. So we're just going to do it this way. Catch you on a little bit. <laughs> 